showdown coming between West County residents and the Parkway School District. People are not happy that the district wants to build an early childhood center in their backyard. Here's a look at where that would take place. It's west of 141 between Hannah and Sulphur Springs roads in Manchester. Fishpot Creek runs through this area and there's a lot of forestation around it as well. Losing that is just one concern of residents. Yeah, our Shoshana Stahl is hearing from both Manchester residents as well as the school district about that proposed building. Shosh. Yeah, Sam, so right here, there's two already existing schools, Ren Hollow Elementary right here to my right. And then if you take a look over here to my left, that's Southwest Middle School. Now, right over here behind me, that green space, that's where the early childhood center would be. And losing that green space is one of the major concerns for resident Melissa Copeland that I spoke to earlier. She actually lives across the street from the already existing schools here. Now, that losing that green space is a big concern because it would build not only the school on it, but also a parking lot on top of it. Copeland says that Ren Hollow does have its own elementary school playground and field it could use, but Southwest doesn't. That means kids wouldn't have access to play outside outside of playing on top of the asphalt. By adding that third school, she says it would take away all of the green space not only students have access to, but also members of the community. I'm really concerned about their mental health issues, being able to get outside, to be in a field, to play soccer, to play flag football, um, you know, baseball, whatever they need to do, and this is the only field that they have. The Parkway School District says the principals at both schools say the field is already underused, meaning it wouldn't be a major loss to the students here. With the community also using that green space, the district is planning to also revitalize a pond that's back there and create trails so it's still an asset to the community. If Southwest Middle School needs to use a field, the district says students can walk to the nearby high school, which would be about a five to seven minute walk and something they've already been doing usually do some sort of warm up anyway that takes about that long so the walk would count for the warm up and my understanding is they are already going over there occasionally for certain things like we don't we don't have tennis courts at Southwest Middle so they would go over there for tennis so there are some so going over to South High School would not be a brand new thing it would just be a more frequent thing Shoshana, at 4 o'clock, you showed us some of the traffic during pickup. We know that is a big concern for people in the area. What did the district have to say about that? Yeah, so we're actually right here where Copeland lives across from Ren Hollow Elementary. And you can see on her fence over here, she's pretty outspoken with her thoughts about the traffic issues and how much she thinks this street can actually take. Now, when speaking to the district about this, they say they know traffic is an issue. Copeland expressing some days during pickup and drop off, she can't even leave her driveway because there's so many cars on both sides of the road. The school district says they did a traffic survey. They're planning to implement that into their plans when opening that early childhood center, saying they might stack the order of times that the different schools start and stop, meaning that there would be less traffic at the same time on the road, trying not to impact as many members of the community as possible. It's something they're all considering with part of that traffic survey. Now we know right now that they have submitted plans to the city of Manchester for some permits for this school. It's the first step in what will be a lengthy process to actually get this open with the hope of it opening for the start of the school year in 2026. So it's going to be something we continue to follow as both the community gives input and the district responds. Corey, Sam. All right, Shoshana, thank you.